This is much more powerful than open posts full. Hello, my friends. How are you doing? If you want to check out the new functions of Automatic 11.11 1.6, I have a video here for you explaining how to use them. In this video, we are going to talk about DW Pose, which does a lot better face, body and hand tracking than open posts full does. Let's get started. So first, we're going to look here at the GitHub page and you can see that this does very nice tracking. You can also use it for video. Here's an explanation on how that works and on how you can install that. But of course, in this video, I will show you how to install it for automatic 1111. It is very simple because this basically is only a new form of a preprocessor by this while the rest of ControlNet stays exactly the same. Now, before we are doing the installation, I want to show you what this actually is. So on the left side, you can see we have a photo here. In the middle, we have DW Pose. On the right side, we have Open Pose. And you can see that the tracking is more precise. And it, for example, also picks up here on the right arm of the body. But when we look at the second image here, you can see the hand of the model is a bit more complex, but also the arm and the hand is covered by the sleeve of her shirt. So when we look at open post full, you can see that most of the hand information is missing here. And with DW pose, we have a very nice tracking of all of the fingers, even though they overlap sometimes. And even the thumb in the background is tracked very nicely here. So when we render this as an actual image with open post full, because the fingers and the hand information is missing, this will give you a result where the hand is simply extended and doesn't match the photo that we have provided. In comparison to that with DW Pose, you can see that the hand here is beautifully tracked and has basically the same position. So here we have a different version of that image. You can see the thumb in the background and also here the two closely overlapping fingers of the hand. Here we have another example of a more complex pose with a woman sitting on a chair. And as you can see here in the example, the hands are really fitting anatomically. Of course, the thumbs are missing here. But as you can see, for both hands, we have the correct amount of fingers. And also they have the correct length for each finger. Also, the rest of the pose is working really well because here, as you can see, we have overlapping legs and still this has been tracked nicely. So next, let's go over the installation process. You want to use the link that I provide below and you want to copy that link. Go into Automatic 1111 to Extensions and there to the Install from URL tab. You want to enter this here in the upper line and then press Install and wait for the install to finish. After the install is finished, you want to go over to the Install tab and click on Apply and Restart UI. After the UI has restarted, that I would also suggest you to go back to that tab, click on check for updates and then again on apply and restart UI so that the other updates here are provided, especially for ControlNet. Because as is stated on the website of DW Post, you need at least ControlNet 1.1.237. So when you are in your automatic 11.11 and you open up ControlNet, you will see the version here and it says 1.1313 for me. In case you're having problems with the update and it doesn't work or giving you errors, you want to go into the automatic 1111 folder in there into the extensions folder. In there, you want to look for the SD web UI control net folder and rename that folder. Don't delete it. Afterwards, restart Automatic 1111 and reinstall ControlNet. Once this is done, you want to go into your old ControlNet folder, look for the models folder and copy over all of the models and YAML files you have in here so that nothing is missing from your old ControlNet install. After all of that is done, check out if the new ControlNet install works and then you can delete the renamed folder that you just kept as a backup. 
After all of the installing has been done, you use ControlNet as usual. You can actually load open posts down here by clicking on open posts, but then you have to go here to the preprocessor and select from the long list the DW open post full preprocessor. To see the results that you're getting from that preprocessor, you have this little explosion icon down here. You can click on that and wait for some seconds. And this will then show you a preview here of the pre-processed image. After that, you simply use your prompt, negative prompt and settings as usual. Of course, as always for control that it's important to make sure that you have make the check mark here for enabled because otherwise, of course, control that is not turned on. Now, before you go, I want to show you another plugin that will help you a lot working with open posts. And this is the open post editor. So here is how that works. You can see I have my preview here and I have an edit button in here. When I click on that, this is opening up for me the pre-processed skeleton with the overlay of the hands and all of the other parts here. And I can now click on them and move them around to adjust them to anything I want them to be or when something is missing. Also here on the left side, you have, for example, person one. And when you scroll down, you have things that are missing. In this case, we don't have a left hand. So I could add the left hand and pose it in the image. This is really helpful to adjust the image or to add missing parts to the image. After you've done this and you're happy with the pose you have created, simply click up here to send post to control net and this is send it over as a new pre-processed image. Now to install that, simply go to your extensions tab to available, click on load from to have all these extensions here and look for open post editor. If you have the search bar, you can also put open post editor in here. And then of course, as always on the right side, you have your install button, let the install finish. Then go to the install tab as always and click on apply and restart UI. And of course, as an important note, the first time you're going to use DW post, this is going to download some additional models for you to use that pre-processing method. So this can take a while. As you can see here, it's 200 and then also 128 megabytes to download. And of course, there's one more thing. If you want to create videos with this, you can either go with image to image to the batch editor here. And here you want to have your video split up in individual JPEG files. So here you have the input directory for all of these files. You don't need anything here for the control net input directory, because if you leave that empty, this is using the JPEGs and it's going to automatically load it down here into control net. But of course you have to, first of all, enable that control net and then of course also load open posts and also select the DW open post full processor. And of course, if you want to use the forum, it works the same way. You have a video input at that point, but you of course also have to turn on control net and select the DW post preprocessor for that. Let me know in the comments what you think about DW post and also the automatic 1111 1.6 update. Thanks for watching. Leave a like if you enjoyed this video and see you soon. Bye. Oh, you're still here. So uh, this is the end screen. There's other stuff you can watch like this or that's really cool. And yeah, I hope I see you soon. Uh, leave a like if you haven't yet. And well, um, yeah. <laughs>